What's going on all you hunters? How's everybody doing today? So first things first, if you guys enjoy pursuing those big mature whitetails out in the deer woods, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below, follow along. And one of my main focuses is just trying to build a strong community here so we can help one another out. So one of the big questions that I get on my social media and on my YouTube account is just an idea of what I use for my self filming uh, that I do out of the tree stand or turkey hunting, whatever it might be. So I figured I'd take a little bit of time today and just kind of run through a few items here that I that I take out to the woods with me each and every trip. Uh, this is mainly for uh, deer season here. So I want to try to build this as kind of a community in a forum type thing. So any type of questions you guys have, just go ahead and comment down below. Let's just open it up for any and all questions. I try to get back to those questions you guys have as quickly as I can. You guys make sure and ask those questions and then also don't hesitate to ask me to make some other videos you guys are interested in. Um, anything with self-filming, anything with hunting related, um, just put it down in the comments below. We'll see if we can put a uh, video together and uh, help one another out. We're going to get started here and just take a quick look at what I use whenever I'm self-filming out of the tree stand. Uh, there's a few other things that I use whenever I'm uh, hunting from the ground or out of a ground blind, which I don't do a whole lot of. I only do that during turkey season, but I don't do hardly any deer hunting out of a ground blind. So we'll just get started here and I'll give you an idea of what I'm using whenever I'm set up in the tree stand self-filming my own hunts. Uh, my main camera that I use out of the tree stand is this Canon G30. Um, one of the big reasons that I like this is because of the 20 time optical zoom and the fact that it can take a, I call it an LANC or a LANC remote. And I'll show you that here in just a second, but that is a very valuable tool is to be able to be hands-free away from this and use the remote, which I'll show you here next, uh, connected to my tree arm. Um, so I pack this into the woods as my main camera and I'm currently uh, filming this video with a Canon ADD and I'll try to show you guys just a quick picture of that, but I use the Canon ADD for uh, B-roll footage and then just kind of the interview type thing from the tree stand. Uh, the Canon ADD allows you to put on some different uh, lenses so you can get you know a wide focal lens or you can get some telescopic uh, or telephoto however you want to say it uh, lenses to put in there where you can zoom in much further out but I like to use those wide angle lenses from the tree stand that way whenever I'm just talking into the camera you know you can get a lot of background um, and things that are around me so you got right here the Canon ADD there it is and this is what I was talking about earlier you can just switch these lenses out very easily the Canon G30 is the main camera that I use for you know filming the actual animals coming in um, and film, filming the deer themselves and uh, the external mic you want to make sure and get you an external mic so the external mic that I'm using is the Tacstar SGC 598 uh, this is a very budget-friendly external microphone. So whenever I was first getting started in, in this, um, I read a lot of good reviews on this on Amazon. So I went ahead and you know took the chance and tried it out. And I figured it would just kind of be a temporary type thing until you know I would save up more money and eventually buy. Uh, it seems like most people use the Rode external mics. Um, but to be honest, I've been very happy with this. Uh, it's been, you know, it's taken a beating. I throw it in my bag all the time and I see no reason to spend extra money right now where I'm at in this, uh, to ex you know, to upgrade to the Rode external mic. So I've been happy with the tax star. Uh, it, it does a very good job. It's got its own power source. So it takes a triple, uh, I think it's triple a, a double a battery and then you would just mount this here by this hot shoe or cold shoe this would mount here you would screw this on and you would take this cable this wire and it just plugs in behind this door right here and then you will want to make sure and power this up each and every time because it has its own power source so that's that that's the external mic on the canon g30 and then up next here is 
the actual fluid head. Right now I've got it on top of the Rex arm from 4th Arrow. I had this set up for some turkey hunts I think and then some of those beaver hunts that you guys might have seen on my YouTube channel. Um, this actually just slides right into a tripod adapter that they make and then that sets on top of the tripod itself and then you're able to just you know fully scan and rotate around this way. But the main thing here is this um, fluid head that I use. This is the Manfrotto MVH500AH. Uh, very good quality, not too heavy, just very sturdy, very well built. But this right here is the, the LANK remote. So this just plugs in right next to where you would plug in your external microphone into the Canon G30 side door here. And on the LANK remote, it's very nice because you don't have to be, you know, all over your, your camcorder itself. You, you can be hands-free and just using this handle here. And it's got this paddle right here, which controls your zoom, which is very nice. And then it's got an on and off and then a start and pause record feature. So I just leave my camera on all the time. Then when I see something moving or something I want to record, um, just hit this record button. You got your focus and then you got your toggle or your paddle here to zoom in and out. So everything can be done right here, touching these buttons and this paddle while you're you know, holding onto this handle here, controlling the camcorder. So this is very valuable. Otherwise, you'd have to be reaching forward, you know, grabbing a hold of the zoom ring, or there's a zoom button back here, uh, however you have it set up. But you would just have to constantly be touching your camcorder, leaning further over, and then this right here with the handle setting back further, it's just a lot easier to utilize and, um, you know, be more concealed that way, less movement from the stand. So just a very well-built, you know, quality piece here, very nice fluid head. So that's that. And then moving on next to the, a little bit more about the tree arm that I use. I use the fourth arrow stiff arm. Uh, the nice thing about fourth arrow is just one of the great things that I like about fourth, fourth arrow products are just how well thought out everything is and you know, the ease of packing in. So I take quite a bit to the stand now since I'm starting to do a lot of self-filming. So being able to cut down in size and weight is a huge benefit and basically a necessity. Um, but you can see here, this is pretty much all the tree arm is. And what this does is you, it has this shoulder and you would just take this steel post here and that just slides in directly to that. So you would take the tree arm that's setting in inside of the shoulder and it comes with this base and you just wrap this base around your tree with this ratchet strap that's hanging here. You slide this shoulder directly into the base. It sets in there very securely once you get everything fastened down securely. And then you just have full range of motion here with everything set up on this. You can see here just kind of an idea of how everything would move once you're in the tree stand. And like I mentioned earlier guys, if you guys want to see me put together a video of actually, you know, strapping on the base to a tree, putting the shoulder in the base, and then utilizing the tree arm with the Canon G30 mounted on top of it, just comment down below and I'll take some time once I get a chance and put together a video. I plan to build more off of this video. This is just a quick rundown of what I use. Uh, there's gobs of different equipment out there, but this is what I've found through all of my research that um, I think might work best for what I'm utilizing it for. And uh, this is what I built up so far. So um, moving on, just a, another point of view camera um, is just a simple GoPro. This is just a Hero Silver 4 with the back LED um, or LCD display. So this just gives you point of views. Uh, it's easy to carry in on like a um, little tripod type thing, flexible tripod where, you know, you can just kind of motion it out in front of you, catching some different views. 
As everybody knows, if you're familiar with GoPro, the audio just isn't that, that great. So it's good for, you know, catching video, but the audio is not that great. So lots of different uses, uses for the GoPro. The main accessory that I use for the GoPro is this big clamp, adjustable clamp. You can see here, you can stick this on a tree stand. You can stick this on any branches that are close to you. And then this is very flexible right here. So you would just mount your GoPro up here and then secure this however you want to and then put this on point of view. You see the deer walking through the woods and you think you might have a chance at a shot at it. So reach up, turn on the GoPro real quick and then it's gonna film you and catch any action shots, you know, if you pull them back, draw on your bow, anything like that. I just laid one up here, but uh, extra batteries are a must. Uh, I think I have three or four for the Canon G30, then I have a couple for the Canon ADD, and then I have quite a few for the GoPro as well. So uh, make sure I have plenty of extra batteries. This here, I actually do have a Rode, Rode mic. This is one of the cheaper versions. This is um, a Rode mic that I use on the Canon ADD that I'm currently using right now to film this video. Um, right now I'm just catching the audio through this lavalier mic. Uh, I just have it pinned right here on my shirt. You can probably see that sticking out. So um, if, I, if I was walking to the woods, um, maybe doing an interview while I'm walking in or just catching some different footage, some B-roll, I would have the Canon ADD sitting on top of this flexible uh, Gorilla Pod. I think it's a Joby uh, Gorilla Pod maybe. Um, so you'd have the ADD sitting right up here, and then I would just throw the Rode video mic on top of this because the internal mic on the ADD is okay, but it has no wind, um, or I guess you'd say it has limited wind filtering capability. So with this dead cat here on this external mic, it just does a really good job of cutting down that external wind noise so you know your voice is, is picked up much clearer. And then, like, like I mentioned, I would just throw the ADD on top of here and then you can just hold this out, you know, video, whatever, spin the camera around, point it towards you, and then you can kind of interview while you're walking into the woods. So all in all, that's kind of a quick run through of what I take into the woods for my hunt. Um, depending on the hunt itself, I might not take all this or on some hunts, I might take all of this. So uh, if you guys wanna see any videos on how I put this on the tree, how it looks when I'm in the tree stand, or anything else, you know, how it looks whenever I'm packing this into my bag, what kind of backpack that I use to take it in. Anything you guys are interested in, you know, I'm here to help. That's what this channel's for. I enjoy doing it. Uh, I learn from you guys, and hopefully you guys learn something from me. So just comment down below. We'll start a conversation. Everybody else can chime in. We'll kind of turn it into a community forum type thing. So like I mentioned there in the beginning, you know, just hit that subscribe button, follow along. We're going to be helping one another out here. We're uh, moving in closer to the deer season here, which I'm getting excited just thinking about it. You know, I've already been out checking some trail cameras. So let's uh, get focused here and you guys follow along with me. We'll help one another out and hopefully have a good 2018, uh, 2019 deer season. So. I appreciate you guys watching this video, and as always, happy hunting. You can't beat it. See you guys.